In this tutorial, I'm going to be talking you through the badge tasks for Lesson 6. Okay, so for Lesson 6, hopefully you've had a little bit of a play around with the uh, margins, putting one at a time. A uh, key thing to realize is obviously that when you, you need to, if you add in the padding, you need to, so if I add in 10, then I need to adjust the width to take effect of that, otherwise all things will sort of push around. Uh, one other thing to point out there is there is a typo in there, and obviously it's padding bottom. Okay, so that you just need to change that as well. Okay, let's have a look at what we need to do. So it's asking us to, for the silver badge, is to make two interlinked web pages using HTML, and hopefully to use a bit of CSS to style them with some padding and margins. Okay, so let's get you started on what you need to do for this. So using my Sublime file, so this is where I'm up to at the moment, okay, so if I just open that in browser, this is my kind of finished first page, okay, so there's Jack, there's my image, there's my H2 heading, uh, there's my title at the top here, I've got some links, I've used a list, I've got orange left box, grey right box, image above the writing, green at the top, that's basically me, me, me done kind of lesson three, lesson four. Okay, so now what I need to do is I want to apply a second page. Okay, now obviously I don't want to write out all of this sort of style again. Okay, now on a website, if you look at the first page and then go on to the second page and the third page, they will tend to, to tend to look the same. Okay, so the way around that is by actually removing all of the styling here. Okay, which we call an internal uh, CSS and actually make it external. So I'm just going to very briefly show you how to do that. So in Sublime, I go File and New File up here. Okay, so you can see I've got another tab. I'm going to copy, oh sorry, I'm going to cut. So I'm going to highlight from style to style. Right click and go to cut. I'm going to add this into my new file and go paste. And I'm just going to get rid of the tags at the top of style and at the bottom of the style. Okay, now I need to go File, Save As, and I'm going to save this as style.css. Okay, and I will change the drop down box as well to CSS, which there is under C. Okay, I'm going to save that in the same uh, folder where my web, uh, my two web pages are, and my uh, images folder is just sitting there. So I'm going to go Save. Okay, you can see that the colors have now come back. It's recognizing that. Okay, now obviously if I now go right click here and open this in browser, I've lost the CSS. My page will look very different if I open that. Okay, here it is. All right, you can see that I've lost all the styling. It's just very, very sort of boring. I've not got my left and right. It's just all there. Okay, so I need to apply that back again to get that fixed before I add another page in. So the link that I need to put in here, okay, it's just one line of code. So I'm going to add that in. Okay, so it's just got to be in the head. All right, so up here after title. So it's tag, link, and there you go. If you just type link, it actually comes up. And I can just see it. So it's saying link rel equals style sheet. That's fine. And then I've got a h reference. I'm just going to change this bit here. So I don't want... Um, in fact, I think I can leave that in there. All I need to do is go to this bit here and type in the name of my CSS, which is up here, which is style.css. Okay, let's see if this works. So I'm just going to go File and Save. Right click, Open in Browser, Open up the browser, and there you go. Back to being how it was before. Okay, so I've now made a single page, which is linked through just that one command there, okay, that's linking me to, to the um, CSS, okay. So now, if I want to make a second page, okay, now I would probably start with this bit here, okay, so I might be tempted, all right, just to go File, Save As, and call this uh, second dot HTML. Always remember to type in the, the ending, that just kind of forces it to actually work. So, okay, so I'll just save that as second. Alright, I'm going to open up my first one again. So I'm just going to open, uh, open file index. Okay, so I've now got three pages open. 
Okay, obviously these are identical at the moment, so let's just quickly get in here. Now my title is going to be the same, my dog Jack. Um, so that's what things can we do. I'm actually going to leave the left box alone. Uh, I'm just going to change the right box in here. Okay, so I'm going to go into the right box and I'm just going to change that image, okay, to another one of the images I've got in there. And uh, I've got three images in there, they're called table one, so table two, table three. So I'm just going to change that uh, just so that we can actually see that it is a different page. Okay. Um, so file, save, and open in browser. Browser at the bottom. And there you go, this is now my second page. Okay, so all that styling has been applied onto that second page. All right, but just that one line there, okay, which is giving me the top and the sides. Okay, and that's a, I've already made, I've now made a two pages that are linked through CSS. Uh, now, obviously, I can do various other things because uh, I need to resize this image. It's absolutely huge and it's kind of going over the page but leaving the sidebar how it is and leaving the top how it is so this is the left and the top container box that's fine okay so I probably want to resize that I might actually want to put three images in there and have a go make this much smaller and actually have a go at that so have a play see what other things you can uh, there's a great website called um, HTML dog I'll just point you in that direction here Okay, which has got lots and lots of great kind of things that you can have a look at. Uh, in terms of the um, tutorials, let's just go to HTML. You probably want to actually have a look at the intermediate ones or even perhaps into the advanced ones. Okay, so you could maybe have a go at doing things like tables, um, putting in things like the times, um, thinking about maybe how you'd add a video in or sound. Um, and all sorts of other things. So do do have a little look, see what things they are. Um, and obviously the tables start there. You could even have a go at adding a form in there to ask about what people have got pets and things like that, or names for new dogs and things like that. Okay, hopefully that's been useful.